granddaddy named Urkel and a mama named Cream. She got a brother named Barney that likes to party with my team. I waited up on the triple beam. What's up, YouTube? Dubstep Slot 415 back with the long awaited Sneakerhead Saturday. I was only gone for a week, but I was hit up by at least 100 people asking me where I went if I stopped making videos. Damn, guys, I was only gone for a week, and y'all already fell apart like that. But here you go, back with more pickups. Let's get straight to it. Got a few snapbacks here on the right. Got a Dead Mouse snapback from Target. I just saw this when I was there with a few of my buddies. The uh, Dead Mouse logo on the front glows in the dark, as well as uh, Dead Mouse on the underbrim. I originally saw this on the Dead Mouse merchandise website for about 35 bucks, probably a year and a half ago. Way too much for uh, this basic of a snap, but from Target for 10 bucks, why not? Got a couple hats from Rock and Jocks. That one right there is between the hats from Rock and Jocks, just because I wanted to fix the shape a little bit. Got a uh, Windy City snapback right here, black and gold for the. Uh, gold medal pack that is releasing later this month got a gold logo on the back gold top brim and you saw a black under brim gold new era logo on the side right here got the USA basketball snapback from nike.com sports specialties got the USA basketball logo green under brim red snap so got the little uh, sports specialties tag so we got the Windy City Bulls snapback for the sixes out of the gold medal pack gold top brim gold under brim black and gold Windy City logo on the back with a white snap definitely looking forward to that pack dropping next couple pickups right here we got a sneaker book the uh, Mies Zappa's uh, Sneaker History in Art. First saw this on Modern Notoriety. Looked like definitely a sick book, so I wanted to scoop it up. All different brands. The History of Sneakers via Art. And it is Mies Zappa's by Al. Got a uh, little watch here from beyondhype.com. It's a deuce watch. It's just like a little uh, elastic band that actually has a watch. I don't like wearing watches all the time, but uh, this is something that I can just throw on and it really won't get in the way. Before I get into these next two pickups, I got to give a big shout out to my homie Kaleem at Wet Paint Customs. He surprised me with this package and I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate what you sent out. Let's get right to it. First up, we got a foam posit piece right here. The Jim Green Foam Pros or Gem Green, however you prefer to pronounce it. On the back, WPC X Jim Green. Comes with a very nice black plastic bead chain give you one more shot at it alright moving on you got this box with a dope speckling over the entire thing if you've uh, been watching wet paint customs wet paint 1978 on YouTube you'll know he's coming out with a limited series this is a sample piece one of one sample Bordeaux dubstep slap. I'm going to go ahead and open up this box because it's difficult with one hand. Ready for this? I wasn't when I opened this up. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Sample Jordan Bordeaux piece done by Wet Paint Customs. One of the sickest pieces Kaleem has knocked out to date. Insane multicolored metal bead chain. Got black beads, a uh, dark green bead, and then a very dope maroon purple bead. 
But let's get into this piece. You see the glitter flake on the front. Very dope. That nice sheen from the gloss. Put the X over the eye. And you got the Bordeaux designs on the nose as well as the horns. On the top, got a hit of orange. Flipping it over to the back. WPC X dubstep slap. Very dope. He went all out, making it look like the bottom sole of the Bordeaux. Jumpman right there. Huge, huge shout out to Kaleem. This piece is epic. The limited series will be 10 pieces. So go to wetpaint.blogspot.com and order yours now. They will not last. You guys have seen it through the first few parts of the video. Go to USA Basketball Jersey. Throwback Scotty Pippen, number eight. It's your USA basketball tag. Your CD. Navy swoosh. USA basketball stitched on. Very nice. Eight stitched on there as well. Down at the bottom. Got your Nike team tag, size XL. Flip it over. Pippin stitched on in red with an even larger 8. I believe they still have a few of these left on NikeStore.com. I recommend heading over there and picking them up. Got another tee from BeyondHype.com. Shout out to them. They uh, throw in brand stickers with uh, whatever company you buy. So this was another Adapt tee. SF logo, kind of painted on, just black and orange, real simple. Next up, got a shirt I actually picked up from my local mall, Nike, damn I'm good. Kind of looks like a South Beach color, but uh, it's really a good match for the Nike SB Tiffany's. It's kind of what I was going for. Definitely stoked to rock this tee with my Tiffs. Got a Nike T, KD scoring titles, 32 retail from Nike store, dry fit cotton, I don't believe, oh, you do have uh, the logo from the tongue on the back of the neck. Shout out to Suicidal One. He picked this tee up for me from his local mall. Earn not given. It's a LeBron James tee. Will work well with the LeBron 9 Elite Miami Vice. What's up, YouTube? Dubstep Slap 415 here to decide the two new winners for my 15,000 subscriber giveaway. I was not contacted by the first prize and fourth prize winners, so I'm here to decide two new ones. Alright, uh, similar to how I chose last time, I just have uh, all the comments copied into the random line picker. I'm going to select two names. The first name that comes up will be the fourth prize winner, and the second name that comes up will be the first prize winner. Both winners need to send me a PM within 48 hours or just like the first two they will be disqualified and I'll be doing this once again but hopefully those two will contact me soon so here we go I'm too high bro you are the fourth prize winner congratulations the first prize winner is Martin L. Cooper, you are the first prize winner. Congratulations. The two you need to send me a PM with your shipping information, and I'll also discuss with you the prizes. Congratulations, guys. Let's get back to the pickups. Jumping straight into the first four pairs. Got to shout out my homie Nick for three of the four pairs right here. 
Got two new Nike SB boxes. Nike Dunk SB Puss Head Premium, size 13. Got another pair of Puss Heads. I went ahead and uh, swapped the, uh, I guess you could say, bleach colored laces for the black laces. Kind of uh, more similar to the Puss Head ones. And I gotta say, I like the look of the black laces. Shout out to Mr. Nike SB6. He was the first one I saw do the lace swap. Alright, next up, we got another new Nike SB box. Nike Dunk High Pro SB Iguana in Black. Shout out to the homie Bionic Souls 1. Beat me to it doing the review for these. Come with an extra pair of, I guess, iguana colored laces. Got the uh, Nike Dunk Camo High. Going around the toe box, up the eyelets, and on the back heel, you have a very nice camo print. As well as on the Nike SB tag, they put the camo. All black Nike SB bottom. It would have been nice if the Nike SB hit right here was either Iguana or Camo. Got a uh, Nubuck swoosh and then your uh, mid panel toe box and top portion of the ankle is all kind of like a uh, rough Nubuck. It's a bit rough to uh, the touch but a very clean shoe nonetheless. Onto the two blue boxes. On the right, Nike Dunk High Pro SB, Boulder Dark Cinder White and Varsity Red. These are the Nike SB Budweiser's or Bud Woozers. Not sure of the official name. But you have a very nice Nubuck or suede upper. I believe it's suede from the quality. Varsity red laces. You have a white, kind of like nylon tongue with an American flag on your tag. Gum bottom, the black Nike SB. Extra laces in the shoe are that same, uh, I believe, dark cinder color. Got a nice, same uh, tough nubuck as the toe box and mid panel on the iguanas. But uh, definitely looking forward to the uh, upcoming beer releases. I believe we got the uh, Heineken Highs or the St. Patties and a few others. <clears throat> Alright, moving on. Nike Dunk High Pro SB, white, varsity red, medium denim, and black. For those who uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, you'll uh, know I picked a uh, pair of Cheech and Chongs up for 40 bucks while on vacation, and they had a serious chunk cut out of the shoe. So, pretty much... The guy cut a portion right there and uh, cut down to the uh, backup canvas under the portion of green suede or green nubuck. When I bought them, he actually included the chunk that he uh, cut out. So a friend of mine who's very good with sewing and stitching, she said she'd take a whack at it. And for 40 bucks, I said, hey, why not? But right now, I've got the right shoe of the Cheech and Chongs. Believe these were worn a few times. Still clean though. Nike SB in white. You've got your smoke insole with your stash pocket on the back of the tongue. Green laces. And you know, if she uh, does a good job or you know manages to work something out 
I might give her these and let her, uh, you know, expose some of the green. I was probably just going to leave them alone, though. Next two pairs. Kobe 7 on the right. Nike Zoom Kobe 7 System. Cool Gray, White, Thunder Blue, and Fireberry. These officially released today. These are called the Kobe 7 Fireberries or the Kobe 7 Londons. Got that World Basketball Festival patch on the back. Very nice fireberry color on your plastic heel cap and the back of the tongue. Thunder blue inner lining. Fireberry Kobe logo on the bottom of the shoe. Your carbon fiber hit, white and cool gray bottom. All cool gray upper, the white swoosh. Got fireberry dots on your thunder blue laces. Very nice. Orange Nike box. <clears throat> Nike Zoom KD4, Tour Yellow, Lemon Twist, Photo Blue. Shout out to my local homie back from school who hit me up while he was in Asia. Came across a size 13 scoring title and uh, picked it up for me. So we got the KD4 scoring titles see that patch that's on the back of the KD t-shirt and then that little uh, I believe someone said it's a Mariners logo it's a tribute to Seattle but that's on the center of the KD shirt crazy detail all over this shoe lemon twist swoosh KD logo and I believe this uh, basketball with the KD 35 is lemon twist as well. And this swoosh, your inner lining, is just a standard blue with lemon twist KD. Got Kevlar laces, just like on the Elite Series. Two Jordan boxes right here. On the right, Air Jordan 4 Retro, white and metallic silver. These are the Anniversary 4s, the Pure Money 4s. The back of the tab says Pure Money. You see a white insole with a gray Jumpman, metallic silver. <clears throat> All white 4, it's your metallic silver, uh, little lace holders very clean I've seen some of these shoes have yellowing this one has none metallic silver or gray Jumpman white Jumpman on your white flight tag and for those who are gonna ask I did cop another pair of uh, fire red fours off Nike this morning along with the Memphis Blues LWP rookies and the Fireberry LeBron nines, which will be my second pair of those. Moving on to the new Jumpman box Air Jordan 7 Retro, white, metallic, gold, obsidian, and true red. I actually picked up two pairs of these, but one of them is already out on a uh, custom order. So, uh, you guys will like that a whole lot more than this release. But uh, here we go, Olympic 7s. You know, a lot of people were disappointed with the quality just because we saw decent quality on the 4s and a few of the other releases. But it wasn't all there on the 6s. And you know what? It's Jordan brand, so I didn't really expect it to be all there with this. 9 on the back. Got your little uh, cardboard insert. You see your gold tip. It's not metal, it's plastic. So right here we got two pairs of the same shoes. The one on the left, I cop locally. The one on the right, my boy Robert, aka Drawing Skills, looked out for me. Let's get into it. <clears throat> Air More Up Tempo, Black Black Volt. 
Air More Up Tempo Black Black Volt. These are the uh, only shoes I copped from the recently released Nike Volt Pack. But just like the Olympics, I'm happy with this up tempo release. Very nice new buck on this upper. Drawing skills, even contemplated copying it. And you know it had to be good if that happened. You got your Volt going through the air bubble. Volt swoosh on the bottom. As well as the visible air unit and air and another swoosh and volt. On the back, got a jeweled Nike swoosh and another view of the volt in the air bubble. Personally, I would have uh, liked to see a volt swoosh here on the tongue, but it's got a black swoosh. I'm going to look for uh, Volt laces that are the same type as these. If I find any, I will let you guys know. Black Nike swoosh stitched on the toe. Getting down to the last few pairs. I want to give a few shout outs before I get into these. My Kicks 86 has a for sale vid, size 6.5 to 8. So ladies and guys with those small feet, head over to her channel my apologies to her I am a little late on that so the video could be a little outdated next I want to give a shout out to Lamarck aka Swag Prince OG for the trade for the cool grays that you see on the left I posted on Twitter that I had DS Concords that I was trying to trade for cool grays he hit me up we traded straight up we were both happy we both have our shoes. Real quick. LeBron 9, dark gray, black, and Volt. Air Jordan 11 Retro, medium gray, white, and cool gray. Getting straight into the cool grays. The cool gray 11s. Starting off, icy bottom. There is some yellowing. It's not an issue with me, though. White jump man. It's your 23 on the back. White Jordan 11 rope laces. Jump man Jordan tag on the tongue with a white jump man. Glad to have another DS pair of those. All right, these aren't a normal pair of uh, LeBron 9 Dunkmans. Hopefully, you could tell by the white laces. Uh, these are a custom by Gourmet Kicks, exclusively by Chef. Uh, we titled these the Duncan and the Darkmans. Nothing too crazy, but you know, just a little bit to kind of set off the Dunkmans, even though they were already sick. So here we go. Hope you can see that right there. Chef added some crazy speckling to the 3M swoosh. Kind of matches the speckling on the uh, midsole. On the bottom, got a glow in the dark sole, as well as a glow in the dark LJ Crown logo in white. I'll show you guys a uh, quick pic of that glowing right now. <laughs> Spin it. Moving to the back of the shoe, got the Dunkman logo which also glows in the dark that picture right here glow in the dark white laces the Dunkmans were already really sick in my opinion so uh, just wanted to enhance them a little bit and don't worry I'll give you a shot of that uh, enhanced 3M swoosh in a second again thank you to Chef from the front to the back from the left to the right side last two pairs of the video gotta say I'm very thankful to have finally come across this pack i had been looking for it for a very long time in dead stock condition and I had set a limit on myself back when they originally released and I missed it and you know I don't like to break those limits and 
sometimes I just don't get shoes. I still don't have shoes because they're not in my limit. But these fell in on a Craigslist ad. I drove 45 minutes, met the guy, cash exchange. 45 minutes later, here we go. AJ6 infrared pack, multicolor, multicolor. Original retail 310. I'm going to open up both drawers. Jumping straight into the pack. Got the original receipt from Champ Sports. Retail 309.99. Purchased 2-3-2011. Both pairs come in this uh, kind of like holographic plastic pack. It's supposed to go, go along with the uh, infrared. They both have a little uh, Jordan sticker. I'll put that across the screen right now so you can read it if you're curious. So first off, we got the white infrared 6 hot infrared on your midsole infrared on the pull tab white jump man with a white air tiny bit of yellowing but uh, it's more of just tinting infrared jump man compared to the uh, varsity red six gotta say in my opinion this is definitely better. So, you guys know the Black Varsity 6 is a grail of mine. I currently have eight pairs of them. This is my first pair of Black Infrared 6s, and I'm stoked to have them. The Black Varsities still rank higher in my book. That's my opinion. I don't need to hear a bunch of comments bashing me why the Infrareds are better. You're just going to get blocked like always, so keep that in mind. Here we go. Black infrared sixes. Same hot infrared on the midsole. Comboed with black. A little bit more on the other side. Same infrared on the back pull tab. You've got a red jump man on the patch on the tongue, red lace lock with a black jump man, real quick, red jump man on the white patch, and then a black lace lock with a red jump man, black top of the tongue, black top of the tongue on this one as well. I'll show you guys the insoles now. It's Mr. Young, who else, man? They're both red with a black jump man. Very icy from the side. Just like the white infrareds, these do have a tiny bit of tinting, but still look great. Infrared jump man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was long, but I was gone for a while, so I know you guys are glad to hear my voice again. See you next week. Living Legends. We never stop, I don't give a fuck who's listening or who ain't listening. We do this underground shit, it's called life.